Hello, welcome back. Last time I was reminded that not every room in this place is actually impossible, and I got two of them done, so that was nice. Let's go to some places I haven't visited. Uh, there's none through there. Way up north. With any luck, if I stay away from the green fruit for long enough, it will ripen and everything will be fine. I'll be able to get all of these rooms done. Okay, so just the one that I can see here. So to make a perfect rectangle, it would need to be a room over there. And there is a raft. A what? The presence of this implies it's somehow possible to actually step through here, but it's not. No, it is. Because the state of this toggle will be opposite if you enter the room with the adder dead. Okay, I get it. So, since it doesn't start pressed, you can press it once, step back off, and then these will be disabled. Okay, I, I get how it works. All right, um, but I have to clear this room first to get to interesting. So the secret room to the east of here is gated on clearing the room to the south. <laughs> uh, all right, so health, bunch of golems, couple of doors I can bump against alternatingly to get him to move there and there. What's the point of any of this? So first of all, let me ask the obvious question. Why can't I just do this? There are Conquer Tokens. Okay, I didn't see those on first parts of the room. So that would be the reason I can't just do this and win the room. There we go. All the monsters are dead. I win. <laughs> Let's go do something else. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, naturally. Okay. So... You want me to make him a path that's going to take him across... What? Wait. This is asking for an infinite health loop. Okay, maybe not infinite, but I need, at the minimum, him or something while b -throw is in here to step on, off, on, off. Hang on, why the tunnels? What? What? There's no way I'm gonna get health into a loop. Is there? Maybe there is. I mean, if I drop a trap door, then following definitely can't be involved. The room has to be clear by the time I get here, and yeah, that's right, I do have to use the tunnels because of the trap door, so you have to go all the way in, and all the way out, or the other way after the room is already clear. So I gotta do some kind of pattern with these guys that's somehow gonna make health dance an infinite number of times on this plate. Because I think with seven to eight toggles required, depending on which direction I go, that's essentially infinite. For this kind of purpose. Because there's definitely not an action that I could get him to repeat eight times here without finding some way to just have it repeat forever. You know, without my involvement? Like, Beethro's just off doing his own thing way the heck over here and over here. But Half has to go back and forth. Oh, wait. Oh, I get it. 
actually, yes, I can get him inf into an infinite loop. So if he's sent through a path that intersects... Okay, so how would this work? I'm going to have to draw my own walls here. I get up to... Um, come on, at a glance I should be able to tell. 12 golems. So his path... All right, so all I need is an infinite loop here. And now that I see that these are toggle pressure plates with a door that I could draw walls around, this looks a little less impossible than it did before. Now, he has to go across this. Thing is, like, what does he desire to get to? I need to ask him to open one of these doors. This seems like a problem. Now hang on. First, let's just see what happens when I do this. The obvious. Oh, but if his home... Well, no. Once he's headed back home, he doesn't care what the state of the doors are anymore. So in his journey to... Okay, so he's probably going to choose one of the two pressure plates that he would prefer to use. I don't know how he chooses it. He rerouted... The problem I'm seeing with what I'm thinking, which I haven't fully explained, but you can probably see what I'm thinking, is that these are right next to the doors. Oh, but I think, okay, I'm getting it. Alright, so let's review some health mechanics. I'm actually a little shaky on a lot of this stuff, even after going through most of this hold, but it's demonstrated by example that when I tap a door, health chooses a path to the mechanism that will open the door. Unless something gets in the way of that path, he will not change it. But if something gets in the way, he reroutes from his current position without changing his home position, which is where he started and chooses a new way to go from where he's standing. Now, obviously the thing I want to do here is to cause his route to take him over one of these two plates, presumably the one that's farther from the thing he wants to hit, So that it, well, but if it toggles the state of the door, then, okay, so hang on. So, health, um, you try to go over there. If I toggle this, you see that it's done and stop caring. Like, you got it. You're done. Great. But like, okay, so what needs to happen here is his route needs to take him over an open door, his first chosen route. Then after that, while he's on that route, he needs to step on a plate that causes that door to close. But then it's not like he's going to reroute, because he just sees his job is done, right? And will try to return home and stop doing anything with the plates. That's what it seems like to me. Because if I'm... The only way he's going to get into an infinite loop is if he continues to desire to open a door. Ah, uh, but... Well, no. By the time he's returning home, he's stopped caring about the state of the doors. If they change back to where my request was, he's not going to go ahead and try to complete the request again. Like, he considers the request completed when he's on his way back, right? 
How could I even test this? I mean, obviously, I should be in the editor for this, because I have many questions about mechanics that need to be answered before I can move on. I'm trying to figure out how to phrase the thing I'm trying to test, though. So, a door that is involved... First, let's do a door that's not involved in his, um, his routing. Okay, so here, let's make an infinite health mechanism. This ought to be nice and easy. So, very simple, infinite loop would be like this. I'm gonna ask him to toggle this, which doesn't connect to anything within the mechanism itself. But this toggles the state of both of those, and so does this. And if health is here, hey, then here's an infinite loop. Oh. Okay, so that's the sort of thing I'm trying to do. Now if this door is actually toggled by one of the things he incidentally hits, well, but then he'll just set that as his destination. So, the request... Okay, so... I mean, like, if I do this, then he has no reason to interact with this part of the room. Okay, so... Oh, but... There's something to this. So watch this trick. So I'm gonna put another path here that goes specifically to that. So the only way you're gonna interact with this right now is by going through here. Let's go one step further. Hang on, no, let's not go one step further yet. Okay, so, um, so b has a pressure plate that's gonna open all of those. Well, Toggle is fine, and close this. So when I make this request, I can't click on health to see his destination, but I know his destination is here. When I step on this, it changes the state of the puzzle. He has established that he wants to be here. His first preferred route doesn't get him there. Oh. But he's happy enough to just use this to toggle that. Yeah, see, this is the problem that I was seeing. Like, once he's done something that's affected the door request that I've made, he's just done. Uh... Here is my request to you. Do that. I stepped on this. Now, you chose that. Was that because of the state of these doors, or... Um... Something else? Got it. Or because this plate can also toggle the thing you were doing. Like, how stubborn are you about getting to this specific plate to fulfill that request? Not any st amount of stubbornness whatsoever. You're perfectly happy to go to this one, which also toggles the thing I asked you to toggle. So what I just learned is that Half rerouting when his preferred, his currently calculated route to a mechanism is blocked, is perfectly happy to go to an entirely separate mechanism to do the same task. Like, he won't just say, hey, I'm blocked. I mean, I can... I could demonstrate this by... Um... How could I demonstrate this? If I fully close this off... He won't say, hey, I'm blocked, right? Going. No, he just reroutes to another one. If 
I need him to incidentally run over a plate on his way to what he's preferring to toggle. Then that needs to not be his preferred target, but he would only run over it if it's closer than his target. And if it's closer, then he needs to not be rerouting at that moment. No live rock golem movement can be involved. I mean, for one, since Beether is just in a horizontal line here, so all they could be doing is, you know, that sort of thing at the most. And two, because of this. Ah! Uh... Yes, that's true, because as soon as I drop this trapdoor, I lose the means to kill one, even if it ends up there. Can't give health my sword to have him do that. Can't give him more detailed instructions. Okay, so let me just, once again, the mechanism I feel like I need to set up is... I input a request to health to open one of these doors, because those are the only two doors in the entire room. He will choose one of these two plates in order to fulfill his request. But it doesn't seem to matter which one he chooses. Okay, hang on. So finish what you're saying. He'll choose one of these two plates to fulfill my request. I will have set up the golems in such a way that he incidentally walks over this on his way to it. What would be ideal is if his incidental walking over this also toggled the state of something in his path. I guess these... But if it did, then he would just go straight to that and consider the request fulfilled. How do I get him to step on one of these when his destination is the other one without him considering the request fulfilled at that time? What if he's trying to return home? He should be stubborn enough about that that as long as there is a path open to... Okay, so he doesn't need to... He needs to not be on the way to fulfill a request. He needs to be on his way home from it. Because he has one single destination, which currently would be here. Okay, so then this requires a much more contrived mechanism then. So, homecoming... Routing over plates that will take him... Yeah, okay, here we go. So I can... I see a way I can set this up. Let's start fresh. Uh, no, let's not. Um, you go away. Yeah, okay, here we go. So homecoming is going to... Okay, so you will toggle those. So will you. This will toggle that and this. And this will work exactly as I want. I input... Uh, well, okay. Um, he does need to first... Okay, so I do need one additional complication here which is that this needs to start closed and this needs to toggle it so here's what happens make my request then I can do this and then it's set up uh, yes that's set up correctly so he'll step there closing the way back to that then on his way on his way back home here we go he wants to be here he sees that blocked there we go okay so that's the other way to set up an infinite loop okay so returning home it's pretty impressive that such deep nuanced mechanics are being used here without any words to explain like what's going on What's going on? Uh, but I can just... Hey, there's a raft here. Well, that would be the exit from this room. Mm -hmm. Just by the way the puzzle is set up, I have to infer it. I mean, that's the mark of a really excellent hold. I just wish I didn't have the problem with these three rooms that I have. <laughs> it's my fault. Uh, okay, so... Um,
So begin a request to say this door. Allow him to fulfill it and be on his way back. Since I don't have the extra pressure plate that's going to toggle one of these doors, like I had in my example, I think I need to edit the state of the puzzle. Yeah, I can stay out here for as long as I need to, to set up the infinite loop. There is no need to go in here before it's like fully set up. Like, he's going to be ping-ponging back and forth that entire time. So I only have 12 golems, though. Okay, so I think this is going to mean... Now he has to go across this every time. Uh, I don't need outer walls. Inner walls will be fine. Okay, so I'm imagining one, two, three, four, five, six. His home will be... can be where it is currently. No, I will need outer walls so that this is more... Ap oh, shoot. Um, what does he need to toggle? This? Okay, so here's the problem I see with this. I only have 12 golems. These things are pretty far apart. You know, I do have some broken walls. Maybe those are involved. So let's keep the broken walls in mind. Like, I could break here and here, then just sort of extend these walls somewhere. Alright, so conditions that need to be fulfilled. He needs to desire... So a path needs to go through here. So I'm imagining just like, um... You know what, let's draw this. This will just be so much friendlier than either doing it in my head or actually playing it out live with the golems. So, um, I'll leave that mechanism there just so I can see it. So here's what we're looking at. And everybody stop being orange. Just, just connect to whatever. I don't care what you do. Just stop being orange. So... I can't place golem rubble. So I guess I'll just place, uh, obstacles. Those look similar enough. Sure. Um, you're a golem rebel now. Now, without ortho squares, obviously this is inadequate. Also, obviously, this is way more than the number of golems I have to spend. Alright, so I can save on some by doing, like... Okay, this is still way too many. So I'd set his home here, somehow like insert him there. I mean, his home doesn't have to be there, it just has to be some place that, well, I mean, that seems pretty ideal, doesn't it? Health. You, young health. What did I miss? You teleported over there. Well, no, that doesn't make any sense, because why would he go... Like that. Also, no, this is completely broken in so many ways. Okay, so if his home was here, and he were standing here, during a request to toggle this, then none of that works. Okay, so I would have to do this then. No, false. Um, I'd have to do like, <laughs> I don't know, this? <laughs> this path needs to be shorter, so he makes the initial journey in here. But then this path does have to be open eventually to get to his home. Obviously that's not gonna happen. I have 12, and how many is this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Okay, so that's 
I mean, that would work, but it's way, way, way too many. So I need to invent a shape. I need to invent a shape. I mean, I'm just kind of glossing over the whole idea of how I first insert him into this mechanism. Oh, hold on, show me the rest of that shape of that room. I wish I didn't have to... Oh, this time, I guess because I didn't press F5, my location stayed there. F5 is the, the key you use to test a room. So once you test a room, it sets your location to what you were looking at in the editor. If you don't, then it doesn't, I guess. That seems to be the behavior. All right, so with the broken walls, one, two, three, four, five. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so I could make like two full walls if I wanted to. I don't know if I want to, but they could be involved. Okay, uh, so the corners are there, 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 and there. Go. Yes. Why do I have to click twice for that? I've noticed this before. Okay. Drag. Control X. Click. That time it did it. Why did I have to click twice the first time? <laughs> I've seen this before, but it doesn't do it when I'm looking at it. Okay, so anyway, broken walls. Um. So I can leave any of those that I want and place up to 12 piles of skulls here. I mean, this is just such an awkward layout for 12 skulls. Just what? That's already 12 if I want to do that many. Well, I only would need to funnel him in like that. Okay, and then if that were there and his home were here, then I just have to convince him to... Okay, so that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Could be worse. Wait a second. Ooh. Ooh, there we go. That's something good. Thank you, Broken Walls. Okay, so one, two, three. Okay, so these funnels... All right, so hang on. Um, let's go kind of minimal here. So his home needs to start in here. I need to do an interaction that causes him to... Yeah, again, I can set this up and stay in this area for as long as I want. Once I start the machine, he'll stay in it. So from here, from here, he has no reason to come all the way down through there to use that. So I either need to give him a reason or do like a whole bunch of golem killing live in here. So like do... Start with that. Well, no, hang on. So, hang on. No, his home can be... anywhere in here. It doesn't matter where. Like, put it here. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so... To make that less appealing... I mean, he might just... Since it's equal, he might just happen to prefer that. All right, so... Oh, it'd be through. I'd have to... St oh, really? Um, okay, yeah, so those are unnecessary, probably, because he wouldn't just dodge those. 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm working at something here. Uh, so hang on, that's nine so far. All right, so I'm gonna stand here, make the request to open this door. His home is here, so he goes one, two, three, four, five, instead of one, two, three, four, five, six. But why wouldn't he go one, two, three, four, five? I would have to do that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then I have to cap this somehow. So that's 11 already. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And I probably want to also encourage him to step on this every time instead of going north of it because he did like he did with that one stinky tile. Okay. That looks like a shape that I've drawn. I did use only 12 skulls. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Uh, at the beginning... Th this would not be there. But then that door would be open and he would just go straight through it. So I can't make the request there. So if I start these in the opposite way, then it's fine, right? Like, all I gotta do is... Well, not if his home's there. The setup of this could involve... Oh wait, no, if his home's there, it's fine. Yeah, he can just go straight through there. Yes. That much is okay, and in fact, that saves me on skulls, doesn't it? Oh, and in fact, that lets me set this up fully with a... Okay, now hang on, something good is happening. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I've only spent 11, and I think I have a fully working mechanism. So Bithro stands here. Um, can I actually... here, um... You do that, you do that. Um, this is water. Didn't have to specifically be water, but I'm making it water. Now some of these walls are gonna be open, so let's just say I broke the golems out this way. Does this by itself loop? Yes, that's all it takes. Okay, there we go. So build that. Neat. Okay. So home him to north of that. Put golems here, here. U shape there, here and here. And don't break too many northern walls. I could certainly break this if I wanted. Yeah, okay. Uh, say I were to break those, what would happen? Anything bad? Yes. However, that works fine for some reason. But just to be safe, I mean, well, I have no reason to break that. Okay, cool. So I have a shape. Well, that's neat. That is super cool. And there should be no reason it doesn't work fully live in here, unless I made, like, a some sort of planning error. One there. One there. One there. I can break all of these walls that I want to. The, that particular wall doesn't matter. Um, careful with that sword around your not-quite-nephew. Perfect. Hold on. I placed some unnecessary golems. That's what happened. That's why I ran out. Okay, so I, I only used 11 in my pattern, though, so this is fine. I'll just do that. And this. 
and all should be good. So I do this, I make this request, and it's perfect. Okay. Now that's a mechanism. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I went too fast. That's pretty cool. I was right that it needed to be infinite. Okay. Well, that was neat. Okay. <laughs> All right. And I have... No, I don't have passage to the secret room. I have to solve this this flavor of impossible first. All right. So I have three flavors of impossible rooms. A secret that I cannot access until I solve one of them. And an exit room that I can't really mess with until I've solved those two. Okay. Well, at least I'm still making progress. Uh, see you next time to retackle this, because this is the oldest fruit. Maybe it's right by now. Um, then would be this, then would be this, or maybe this here. Alright, cool. I'll see you then.